here to talk to you today about our project called the Solarium. Solarium is a play on words, uh, spelled like the sunroom word solarium, but with a U, so for your soul. Where did this all start? Many years ago, uh, when I start, started first doing research on how light impacts our psychological, emotional needs, besides your physiological needs, you know, that you need foot candles or lux levels. What ended up happening is that over years and years and years of researching and having the good graces to meet some amazing scholars, researchers, scientists, who are all working in the field of lighting, but not the lighting that I grew up with, which is how do you make the space pretty and give you the light levels, etc. You, you can refer back to uh, this conversation in round one of our conversations. In any case, my research went further into utilizing light for its latent properties for health and wellness. So the people I was hanging out with were scientists, color scientists, vision scientists, color therapists, uh, people who were doing using color for treating people, sound designers, uh, projection artists, others who have worked in the field of consciousness and how light and its metaphorical meanings connects with that. Also, uh, frequencies and wavelengths and how they connect to our different organs so that goes into different medicine forms uh, whether it's uh, uh, traditional Chinese medicine or ancient Indian medicine or medicine forms that are practiced uh, by the Native Americans uh, you know so I was studying all of these connects if you would that you know what are the similarities started with an inquiry into light and then went from strength to strength to a point where I was sitting on all of this amazing information where I found that nobody really was talking about how you can mainstream this into everyday existence. Not that you have to go to a spa into a dark room and then they'll turn on this blue light and then they'll tell you to relax and you know for the next 60 minutes and $300 later you'll come out you know, of the space, hopefully feeling a little better. I'm saying that what if you didn't, what if you left that aside and just mainstream this into architecture? And I was, wherever I would introduce this topic, I would get a great amount of resistance because their thinking, the people who were listening to this would be, well, wait, that just sounds like really hocus pocus, flaky, hippie, quacky, oh God, so many adjectives to describe what is a science. Because the people I was learning this from were actually medical doctors who had seen the light, no pun intended, you know, and were working on these aspects of light. So having tried to kind of mainstream this into architecture and kept hitting a brick wall, so came to a point about 2016, 2017, when I designed uh, the space uh, aptly uh, named the solarium um, where it could be a combination of color therapy, sound therapy, lateral chroma therapy, frequencies, wavelengths, storytelling, projection art, so that you could go into this space in a public park, no fee, you know, no fee. There's no, you don't have to buy a ticket and, you know, and spend whatever money. And the idea was that you would go into this public park, the, you know, the, the whole structure will be under a geodesic uh, dome shape. And within that, you would have this immersive environment where for 30 minutes, you would be experiencing all of these modalities of color, sound, light, projection, aroma, etc. So we were trying to mainstream this into an architectural space. So the dream project for us became installing this in Prospect Park, which is in Brooklyn here in New York, for people who live here. So this is not a tourist attraction. This is not, uh, you know what, 
let's go see a museum and then we can just stop into the solarium and have a glass of wine and hang out and then you know it becomes kind of a location on the tourist map it's not really that it's really an installation for the local people who can go there instead of going to a bar or doing other kind of intoxicants uh, that they could go to the space to feel better uh, through proven methods to feel better for a host of different ailments whether it is stress depression uh, PTSD to name a few you know then there are other three or four that we are working on so the idea was that a dream project would be to install this in Prospect Park and then we would be able to take it to nine cities in the United States and then overseas etc etc what ended up happening last year which was a lot of work and it was a lot of fun but a lot of work uh, was that we were invited to install this in Croatia it wasn't going to be a permanent installation but we jumped on the opportunity because they loved our idea they loved our concepts and we ended up doing this installation in Croatia in September of 2019 then brought it back to New York at Gallery AWA in December because we are doing these beta test studies to see how it impacts people. Where I want to stop is that you should go to solarium.net. Uh, the website is going to launch on April 15th, 2020 um, and see the testimonials and the videos of the work that we have done. I was amazed. I had a great amount of confidence that it was going to work for, um, you know, in helping people. But when I saw the results and I heard the testimonials. The soundtrack really had beautiful soundtrack, beautiful visual effects. I don't know if it was the colors or the sound or, or combination of everything, uh, but it was almost like we were all little kids in there um, and not these adults um, with all the, the problems and stresses of life. It confirmed my theories on how we can combine all of these influences and put it into one space. Solarium, S-O-U-L-A-R-I-U-M dot net, April 15th, 2020. And we also have this information in our book, Contextualizing Light, website contextualizinglight.com. Thank you for listening. And we would love to hear from you, especially on this project, which is self-funded and we are motivated to bring this out there for the public good. We're not doing this to earn money. So when you hear this and you check out the information and if it appeals to you, drop us a line because we would love to have more people join our tribe in taking this to different locations around the world. We'll keep you posted on the next few that we already have in the pipeline, next few locations, I mean, and um, love to hear from you. Thank you for listening.